Some travel restrictions are being lifted tomorrow and what is being called a very cautious first step. But current rules prohibiting non-essential travel between the U.S. and Canada are still in place at the border. It's having a major impact on tourism in Niagara Falls. And one U.S. congressman says the American side may reopen anyways if a plan isn't reached soon. Jason Guidola has the story. Starting tomorrow, Canadians and permanent residents coming home across the border can avoid quarantine if fully vaccinated. But the Trudeau government's approach to reopen may be too slow for U.S. officials, as one congressman says America may open up to Canadians with or without Canada. That's a possibility as a strategy toward getting uh, the Canadian government to follow suit. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, $16 billion has been lost in tourism. Western New York Congressman Brian Higgins says he hopes to see at least a partial reopen plan by July 21st, the day when the non-essential travel ban is set to expire in Canada. The Canada Day 4th of July stretch is the beginning of peak season for cottagers and other travelers. And Higgins says he needs more from U.S. President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, each could do uh, a better job in terms of saying, hey, look, this is our vision for opening the border. Here's what has to occur in order for us to do this successfully. The threat of a unilateral decision is a cause of concern at Niagara Falls City Hall. That would not be good for us. All the Canadians would flock to the border and take all their money into the United States. So they're discussing dates later in July for that possibly happening. So we want to make sure we're not caught with our pants down here in Canada. Today on Clifton Hill, attractions and restaurants are filled with Canadian spenders, but Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati says American spending outweighs domestic dollars that tend to flow through the area's hotels, bars and casinos. Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati says that a quarter of annual visitors in the area are American and they make up roughly half of the revenue generated. It's over a billion dollars just with the Americans not coming back into the country. It's for Niagara. It's huge. More than 30% of Canada's eligible population is fully vaccinated, well beyond Ottawa's targets to lift restrictions. And Diodati says he expects a federal announcement about more reopening this week. Tomorrow, borders are expected to see an influx of travelers, but Canadians must show proof of vaccination of at least 14 days to stave off quarantine. Travelers will have to log in their vaccination details into the Arrive Can app or web portal prior to departure and present the results of a recent negative COVID-19 test. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.